Good morning. It's Monday, February 8th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Of Riots and Revivals, and our scripture is Acts chapter 14. The same thing happened in Iconium. Paul and Barnabas went to the Jewish synagogue and preached with such power that a great number of both Jews and Greeks became believers. Some of the Jews, however, spurned God's message and poisoned the minds of the Gentiles against Paul and Barnabas. But the apostles stayed there a long time, preaching boldly about the grace of the Lord. And the Lord proved their message was true by giving them power to do miraculous signs and wonders. But the people of the town were divided in their opinion about them. Some sided with the Jews and some with the apostles. Then a mob of Gentiles and Jews, along with their leaders, decided to attack and stone them. When the apostles learned of it, they fled to the region of Lyconia, to the towns of Lystra and Derbe and the surrounding area. And there they preached the good news. Those who propose change usually get the same response from those who oppose change, a riot or a revival. It's often said that the Apostle Paul always started one of those, but most often it was both. Such is the nature of what Jesus intended for the good news of God's kingdom. Matthew chapter 10. Jesus said, Don't imagine that I came to bring peace to the earth. I came not to bring peace, but a sword. I've come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Some will take Jesus' words out of context to sanctify unholy ambitions, such as what drove the riot at D.C.'s capital last month. That aside, there's always a sense of division that comes with proclaiming Christ. That division line is a fault that opens whenever the truth is preached. It opens a clearly defined chasm between the camps of faith and unbelief. To those who recognize their sinfulness and need of a Savior, faith springs like wildflowers in the desert after a sudden downpour. To those who are resistant to bowing to any other than themselves, it brings anger, more resistance, and riot. When the gospel of Jesus Christ is proclaimed, those are the only two choices, faith gladly received, or independence and rejection of the sovereign nature of Almighty God. It's either a revival or a riot. And that happened everywhere Paul and the other believers faithfully delivered the message. Some would believe, and some would pick up stones to bludgeon the messengers. It's still that way. And what of the lasting result of such a gospel? Well, that's also predictable. The result is unity in two opposing camps. What? How can you speak of unity in opposition? Well, it's simple. Light is unified with light, and the same is true of darkness. To those who follow the light of Christ, they do not dwell with darkness. Evil cannot exist with good, neither can cold be hot. Just like two children on the playground seesaw, they'll be either up or down, but not both. Those who live and walk in faith, clinging to Christ alone, will never settle for the darkness of this world's ways. It's either, say it with me, revival or riot. For you today, bringing it down to a personal level, if you want revival, the rebirth of life within your own soul, there must be a riot against the darkness. It's called repentance, turning away from the darkness and turning to the light of Jesus Christ's love, his gift of grace offered to us on the cross. When you remember that and embrace that, you look to the light and away from the darkness. That's the kind of division Jesus came to bring. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.